This year, 2017, will be an important one for pro-lifers. There is a new administration, new lawmakers in town, and new opportunities for the pro-life movement. The United States has elected a president who made unprecedented pro-life promises during the campaign. In a letter written to pro-life leaders, the then-Republican presidential nominee, Donald Trump, made four commitments. One. Trump said he will nominate pro-life justices to the U.S. Supreme Court. Two, he will sign the Pain-Capable Unborn Child Protection Act into law, banning late-term abortions nationwide. Three, Trump committed to defunding Planned Parenthood as long as they continue to perform abortions. And four, he will make the Hyde Amendment permanent law protecting taxpayers from paying for abortions. Joining us now is Marjorie Dannenfelser, president of the Susan B. Anthony List, a pro-life advocacy group we are teaming up with here on EWTN Pro-Life Weekly. I'm so excited. I am so excited. Thrilled. There is a lot to talk about. Marjorie, now you were instrumental in nominee Donald Trump writing this letter to pro-life leaders. How confident are you that President Trump We'll follow through on these commitments. Well, we asked him to write that letter because we knew that it would be distributed and communicated to over a million voters in battleground states that delivered to him a win. So he has delivered some confidence in the written word. He's delivered confidence in the spoken word with an outstanding debate performance in that last debate where he described a late, trim, a late third trimester abortion procedure and then challenged the opponent to, uh, to accept that or deny it. She, so it was a beautiful contrast. And now he is surrounding himself and his administration with many, many pro-life appointments, which are fabulous. Each one of them are great. Right. I was going to talk about that. How yeah. has he positioned himself so far? What kind of mm -hmm. signals have we been seeing early on? Well, um, that, this is where the action sort of follows the words. And, uh, and when you have to get to the work of really leading the nation, you need the people beside you that understand your agenda and know how to put it into policy, put it into reality. So I would say that from top to bottom so far in the White House, in all of those positions, just about anybody in there you would want to um, be speaking at your pro-life banquet. And I'm not being, and I'm not exaggerating. Mm -hmm. We're talking about people like Kellyanne Conway, mm -hmm. David Bossie, Mark Short. A lot of these are not household names, but they are people that the pro-life movement has worked with for years and years and years. Katie Talento. Um, all these people, again, who I believe you will get to know in this show, yes. and it'll be exciting to see what happens. Yes. Now, defunding Planned Parenthood is really the focus of pro-life groups right now. Okay. Why is that the priority? Well, it's because we've set up a situation where we can get a vote right away at the very beginning of the administration through a reconciliation bill. And basically the bottom line is it only takes 50 votes, not the 60 that a, uh, that a lot of legislation requires. So since we've done this already one time around, and because the president is ready to, uh, to repeal and replace Obamacare, um, that those measures are both joined in a bill that the House and Senate can vote on very quickly, and then um, and then we we will see something very different. Before we saw Obama reject that bill, this time we will witness the President of the United States defunding Planned Parenthood for the first time in over four decades of federal funding. So we really are in a realistic spot right That's now. That's right. Now the Susan B. Anthony list knocked on over one million doors during this past campaign. What impact did you see that having and what impact can the grassroots movement have? Well, it had a direct effect of electing a very strong pro-life president. And that is what we needed after all this time to enact pro-life um, legislation. So it had a very direct impact. And what does that mean? It means that everyone who got involved in this election really will be a part of saving the lives of unborn boys and girls who God intended for the world. Marjorie Dannenfelser, president of the Susan B. Anthony List, thank you for all that you do. Well, thank you.